What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Who's ready for some fall fits? We are less than a week away from the official start of fall, even though for me it mentally started about a month ago. You know, I, I say this all the time, but when Spirit Halloween opens, it's fall for me, game on. Speaking of which, Bay and I actually went to Spirit Halloween for the fourth time, mind you, last night. Oh. If you guys remember a few weeks back in my women's best video, I mentioned a couple of Halara's leggings. Now I'm here with a full-fledged video. I'm really eager to explore more from them because I had a really good experience with their leggings. But before we get into today's video, I'm gonna take a second to thank you guys. We just hit 60K here on YouTube. I love this community that we've built and are continuing to build. I think what we have, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like what we got going on here is really special. I feel like I have 60,000 friends. So that's like 59,999 more friends than I actually have in real life. Look, this isn't a pity party, please. This is just my weird way of saying thank you guys so much. And if you are not subscribed, but you find yourself on this channel often, just hit that subscribe button. This haul is very special to me because I think you can tell we got a lot of the full palette going on here. Even what I'm wearing, I feel so witchy in this top. Ugh. Speaking of which, another daily dose of digression going on here. Salem was awesome, you guys were right. I felt for once in my life that I was home. I felt like I belonged there. It was like Halloween town. We visited all of the Hocus Pocus filming spots. The vibes, the restaurant, the shops. I was just in my glory. The first spot I went in, I bought a witch hat. It was a modern witch hat. You saw my stories, it's so super cute. I gotta keep it real with you. When it comes to Halara, this haul, the previous couple leggings that I shared with you, even looking at their advertisements on social media, they are very much geared towards more of the active fashion realm, not so much straight active wear in the gym. So with that being said, thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video and sending these pieces out my way to review. If you see anything in this video that catches your eye or on their website, feel free to use my code AshleyGata to save 20%. Something you gotta know about Halara is the names of their pieces are stupid long. They're dumb funny long. So rather than me trying to memorize the name because that's not gonna happen, I'll just have it typed up here somewhere for you. So with that being said, this is that. And this is that. Let's start with this top. What sold me was the neckline. I love the fact that there is a bunch of room up here. This is different. This is why it's fashion more than anything. I wouldn't even use this for yoga because watch this. This has a built-in bra right here. Everything's fine and dandy until I really just lift my arms up and then all of a sudden the seams right across my nippies. <laughs> so it really shifts up. Nothing's exposed, but keep that in mind. Like even doing a downward dog, like this is gonna shift upwards. The material's so slippery. Check out this back. So there's no adjustments going on back here, but look at how beautiful this backing is. It's like a real ballerina feel. Something I noticed about Halara, a lot of their tops have that little twist going on. That's their little signature thing. So even though this comes all the way to your shoulders, this back is pretty large. It almost feels like it's about to fall off your shoulders, but it doesn't. It stays intact fairly well, even when moving around. It is true to size. This is able to stretch out with your body nicely. If you're in between, I would suggest sizing up though, just to avoid it being too snug. What do we think about the black with these taupe leggings? Now these leggings are gonna be the most compressive that you're gonna see in today's video. Honestly, I wore these leggings to the gym for the sake of this video, just to test them out, all right? These are the most gym friendly in my opinion, so I figured, you know what, let me test them out. Overall, I feel like they can definitely pass as gym leggings, but I noticed that with this slippery material, intense movement compound exercises, you're gonna notice the slight slip going down. I also noticed a bunch of wrinkling around the knee area. Not a huge deal, but keep that in mind if you're looking to sweat in this. Speaking of sweat, this is very breathable, very breathable and relatively stretchy. When I was at the gym, they had the air conditioning on and I felt that cold air right on my legs. Like it went right through the legging. You do have a hidden back mesh pocket right on the band area. I also have to mention the curved hem on the bottom of the leg. It goes up in the back. 
So a cute little crossover accent going on back there. I think it's those little things that they add on to really simple pieces that just make them stand apart in little different ways. You know when you're shopping on a website and there's this one piece or set that you just can't take your eyes off of? Like you know you can add anything to the cart. Doesn't matter what you add, this one just has to come home to you. That's what happened with this athleisure set. So we're looking at a matching short, high rise short and sweater set. First of all, the color. So you have a really off white cream color with a really pretty tan linear design everywhere. These lantern sleeves, I believe that's what you call them, right? They're not bell sleeves, bell sleeves, yeah. No, bell, lantern. The lantern sleeves are a really nice touch. The high neckline's nice too, keeping you really cozy up top. Now, even though there's a lot going on with the sweater, the shorts are fairly simple. You have a really thin string waistband, very stretchy set overall, mind you. I like the length too, somewhat conservative. And you know I love an outfit that I could get multiple uses out of, so these shorts, they're lounge and athleisure, no doubt. The top, this can be dressed up. You can easily pair these with any types of jeans, black, tan, blue jeans, and this would go well. I feel like you could definitely get away with sizing down if you wanted a more form fit. The color of this active dress is called Autumn Glaze. The color name is what stood out to me. It was absolutely delicious. So a couple things about this active dress here. Number one, it comes with shorts, but they're separate. They're not built into this dress, all right? You do have two pockets, one on each side, really short. This dress does not come with a bra. It's a BYOB. That can get tricky because the backing is racer back. So do you have a bra that can fit that? I did. I used the Gymshark training bra. The back thong came in handy for this one. Other than that, I think it's really pretty up top here. You got real buttons. I had to unbutton this to fit my head through it. I actually have to mention how this is not form fitted. You have some let up going on right around here. You see that? It doesn't quite hug you to an extent where it feels like it's body fit. I think you could definitely get away with sizing down in this if you prefer a more body fit. But for me, I mean, I'm only wearing this casually. Don't get it twisted. I don't really like things squeezing me in anyway, so I think my small is okay. If you look closely, you have an all over thin rib. I feel like this is a perfect casual dress. You know, if you're going to an apple fest or something, you wanna look cute, dress up with your friends and family, but you don't wanna really wear anything that's too constricting or uncomfortable. Or better yet, if it's still too warm out, depending on where you live, like right now, still too warm out, then pop on a little harvest dress. Speaking of warmer weather, if you still don't wanna give up those shorts, I get it. Check out these two-in-one loose fit shorts in the color cilantro. So I paired it with their twist bra. Uh, there they go again with that damn twist. So back to the shorts, this is my true size small, and I gotta say, it's on the brim of being a little too tight right around the groin area. So if you're in between, size up, especially cause you know, they're meant to be loose fit. I find this crisscross to be really pretty, especially because they added on a mesh trim and the cut of the hem is rough. So it looks super rustic, organic, real earthy. So you do have the built-in shorts. To my surprise, there's no pockets though. I thought for sure they love their twists and they love their crossovers. So I think this is a really nice, cute side design they got going here, real high on the thigh. And of course it helps with movement. So if there's anything that I would say you could totally rock at the gym, it'd be these shorts. Cause you got the built-in liner for crying out loud. Now let's talk this white bra, a couple things. I actually took the bra inserts out the second I got it because they came in really wrinkled and I looked super stuck right here. <laughs> so I just took them out and I said, you know what? There's enough material here to make it work without a bra pad. I don't really need a ton of support here anyway. In case you haven't noticed, but I did notice at the gym that I saw a little bit of a nipple. Keep in mind, there is technically a built-in bra underneath here. And you got the little flap. You already know what I'm about to say. I love tucking it. This is how I wore it at the gym. I tucked it up. Yes, I did. It's bittersweet. Like, okay, this looks fire, right? But the downfall is if you self-tan like me, this flap is just forever ruined. <laughs> your tan when you sweat under here, you're gonna take this down and just see a strip of tan. 
You can like use toilet paper. You have double straps going on right here. Overall, I think this bra needs to be sized down for me. So I would suggest sizing down. I, I feel like there's way too much space going on right here. When I was at the gym, even going like this, like, whoa. I have my size in the overlap. So everything that I'm wearing in today's video, you'll see the side panel where I say the size that I'm wearing. In other words, all the real boring stuff that would get super repetitive if I said it out loud, like the material and things like that. So always reference, even if you have to pause the video, reference it if you have any real in-depth questions like whether to size up or down, I cover it all in that panel. So with that being said, everything you've seen so far is in my true size small, except these leggings here. They didn't have them in my small, so we sized down to an extra small. I'm actually super happy with it. Yes, I am. You have a nice stretch going on here. These are in the color coffee. This is an all over cozy rib legging. In other words, the staple fall legging that everybody loves. I know for me, I'm speaking on behalf of myself, me, myself, and I. And this is the signature fall legging I look forward to every year. So on the outside, it's very soft and ribbed, but on the inside, you don't feel that ribbed. It is just very, very soft. And to be honest with you, when I was feeling these leggings before I put them on, for a ribbed legging, they were actually very lightweight feeling. A lot of ribbed leggings out there are pretty dense and thick. Not so much these, these are a nice happy medium. Closing out the show with some signature yoga style leggings. Now this is one of their popular crossover band leggings. These are your traditional buttery soft leggings. And this is in the color winter moss. I wanted to add a little bit of green into the mix. Now because it's a crisscross band, it does tend to be a little bit wrinkly, like around the backside, because there's a lot of material here. Like, check that out, it almost, yeah. This touches my sports bra. <laughs> then again, I have a really short torso. What are you gonna do? Either way, these are extremely low support. Like, look at that. Okay, there's no compression in the waistband. So if you're looking for something just to throw on, go, and just be comfortable for your day. If you're going to Starbucks to grab your pumpkin spice latte and then go ahead and walk around Target for some home decor, this is what you would wear. This is it, these leggings. So that concludes our look at Halara. I've actually been really exploring their website and I can't help but notice in their jacket section, there's a ton of styles that are totally me, like shackets, plaid shackets. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts and what are your favorite pieces that I showcased in today's video. Overall, I was really happy with what I tried, but if I had to choose my absolute favorites, I would have to say the long sleeve black top, because I can go with anything. The athleisure sweater set, so comfortable, so cozy. And I really love that ribbed legging. Again, thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for watching. Again, if you have any questions, comment down below. And don't forget to use code AshleyGata to save 20% off your entire order. Up next, we have some lazuli label. Lazuli, lazuli. Oh, we're gonna get into that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And again, thank you for 60K. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. We have athleisure sets. What the fuck else do we have? What I find to be really pretty, pretty? I meant to say pretty. <laughs> it is now mid-September. We're only a couple days off from it being um, actual fall. What is This is an all over cozy rib legging. These are the, these are actually the kind of leggings that mm. One more time. If I had to narrow it down to just a couple items, I would probably say that athleisure, leisure. I would probably say that athleisure sweater shit, shit, set. Do you, why am I like this?